Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna start a series of videos in which we'll talk about different hidden features that we can encounter in the build 25295 because of course, Microsoft is usually adding some hidden features or features that are of course currently under development and they are working on them behind the scenes. But using Vive tool, of course, we can enable these hidden features and we can test them out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable the new suggested actions and the new settings or options for the suggested actions. So I think this is pretty interesting and I'm going to show you how to enable that in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, of course, we're going to set up Vive Tool. We're going to have the downlink for Vive Tool in the article below in the video's description. Just go ahead and download the latest version. That's it. After you download the file, you can open it up with File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and make sure to extract it into the System32 location in this PC local disk C, Windows, and then scroll down and locate System32, select folder, click on extract, click on continue, and you should be good to go. Vive tool should be set up on your computer. Now you're going to have to open up the CMD, type in the search box CMD, and then click on run as administrator, and on user account control, click on yes. A big shout out to PhantomOcean3 on Twitter for discovering these hidden features. You can go ahead and follow him because his Twitter will be linked in the pinned comment below. We're going to have to copy and paste in here a few commands. The first command is the command that will enable the new settings or options for the suggested actions and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. The next command is the command that will enable the new suggested action for addresses. And also you can run this command in order to enable the search suggested action that was rolled out between the bills 25,247 and 25,267. Basically, these are the commands that you need to run. But for the address suggested action command, we're going to have also a variant that I'm going to show you in this video. So now let's close out the CMD and restart the computer for the changes to take effect and then I'm going to show you what has changed and how the new suggested actions and settings look. Now for the restart, let's open up the settings app. I'm going to show you first the new options for the suggested actions and those can be found in the settings app of course, system, and then scroll down to clipboard. And here under clipboard, you'll be able to notice suggested actions, get suggestions for actions when you copy a date, time, phone number, search phrase, or address. And we have this turned on. And now, as you can see, we can turn on or off which types of copied text we want to have suggested actions for. So we have phone number, date and time, search and address. So we're going to open up a new text document. So here in the notepad, we're going to test out a few things. First of all, let's test out a phone number. This is of course a test phone number. I'm just going to select it and then copy it. And as you can see here, we have the first suggested action for the phone number. We have call number and we have the quick link to your phone app, which we can use to of course call on our phone or we can use the Microsoft Edge to search for it and we have clipboard settings. I think that is pretty cool. Next up, we have a date, for example, the 14th of February. If we select it and then copy it, we're gonna have the option to create an event using the calendar. And of course, the quick launch to clipboard settings. We also have the search one. So for example, if I type in here something, I can select it, copy it, and I can search the web. And of course, the quick launch for clipboard settings. And for the address, I'm gonna just copy yet again, a test address copy it and we're going to have here look up directions. And if we click on it, of course, Microsoft Edge browser will be opened up and it will search for this address. And of course, yet again, the clipboard settings quick launch. I think this is pretty cool and pretty useful because you can very, very fast search for something on the web, create an event using a date, all the numbers, search for an address, search for a word. I think this is pretty useful. Now let's open up the CMD and run it again as administrator so that I can show you the second variant of the addresses suggested action. So we're going to use the same command for the addresses again, but we're going to type here slash variant and two. Press enter and then let's restart the system for the changes to take effect. And as you can see here, after the restart, we have the second variant of the addresses suggested actions, which basically will give us the option to select which browser we want to use. And the variant that we've tested before, it only showed the default browser that you had installed. So these are the new suggested actions with also the new settings. I think this is a pretty cool feature that is added by Mark. Microsoft. Of course, you're going to have the downlink for Vive tool and also the commands that I've used in this video in the article below in the video's description. Yet again, a big thank you to Phantomotion3 for discovering these hidden features. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.